so great to be here. Um, I guess I should breathe. Um, <laughs> the best words that I've ever heard is life is supposed to feel good. And thank you for reminding me that. Um, I really think you answered our question and everybody's question in your opening statement, but I think everybody has a different flavor and everybody has their thing. And my thing is relationships. We and gathered. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm closer than I've ever been, and I've had enough contrast that I must have an incredible vibrational escrow. And um, I just... But you know, as you're visiting here with us about it, is it just us or can you also feel that most of her attentions over here in the what's going on right now, right now, what's manifested? And so be your own best friend and talk about your dream. In other words, you could, you've got to get over there into your escrow or you've got to leave the subject alone altogether. Oh, do you hear that? You could never think about that again. Yeah. <laughs> What are the odds of that? <laughs> you could never think of that again and everything that you want would come to you and relatively quickly. And it's only the fact that you do think it all the time and you're thinking about it as it is rather than as you want it to be. So you got to tell a new story. You've got to begin telling the story that lets you get closer to your swirling vortex. So begin. Start wherever you are and it doesn't matter. Um, this is going to sound good. Um, <laughs> if three out of four marriages end in divorce, then I'm just, the next one's got to be a winner. Um, <laughs> um, the good thing to know is, while the audience wilts at that slow start, <laughs> your vibrational escrow is still swirling strong mm -hmm. because all that that you've lived has put so much there you see but so, I've been able to get the dollars and the health and you know the the kids and, and all of that and couldn't figure out how this just didn't happen because I expected it so many times and it it turned well, out differently than I, well, the I thing, thought. Here's the thing. Nothing ever turns out different than you expect. Nothing ever turns out different than you expect. Ever, 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 ever. Now, maybe we have a different idea of what expectation is. Right. But expectation is the combination of desire merged with belief. So it's possible that your expectation could be more desirous while you were doubting. And so, in other words, that's a negative expectation or a positive expectation just feels rapturous. You can tell the difference in this way. If you accept that you have a vibrational escrow relative to this relationship that is brewing and is dynamically swirling and you are eager to talk about it, that means you're right on the brink of jumping right in. But when you feel reluctant or resistant, when you are sort of arguing for your limitations about it as you are, mm -hmm. that just means that you've practiced something that's further away from it. And everybody understands that right. it is not easy to observe things and live things without getting the feeling of this is how it is. It is such an interesting thing that what you believe and what manifests are always the same. But we understand how after things have manifest, it's easy to believe them. And right. you just got to get that cycle turned around. You've got to say, I'm going to get my story out there ahead of me. And then my life's going to catch up with it. I'm going to stop telling the story of what I've already lived. That's really what we're talking about here. Most everybody's living and then explaining. Most of you are historians. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is what happened. This is how long it took. This is what he said. This is what I said. This is what he said. There was your historians. Well, stop it. You have to become sort of prophetic. You have to become storytellers. You have to become the writers of the script. Imagine a, a Hollywood production and everybody shows up and they say, well, what's this movie about? I don't know. Well, just do whatever you feel like doing. 
direct, somebody's directing it. Somebody has an idea. They know where the story's going. They know how they want it to play out. They know what emotion they want to evoke from the people who will be watching it. You've got to write your script. You've got to tell a story. You see, that's what creation is. Creation is activating a vibration in advance of manifestation. And most people are activating in advance vibrations based upon history and so the future keeps being just like the past right. because they keep telling the story of what's been going on you right. see so never mind what has happened tell the story the way you want it to be <laughs> <laughs> it's hard because I haven't really practiced it all right we'll tell your story please <laughs> thank you I've lived enough life to know what I want Good start to a story, isn't it? Yeah. I've lived enough life to know what I want. And especially in the arena of relationships. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, now we're telling your story. Boy, oh boy, have I lived enough life to know what I want. And to know what I don't want. And I have to say, we're speaking for you, I have to say that mostly I've been trying to be objective so I tell it like it is and in telling it like it is I've got quite a bit of failed relationship piled up behind me and there's a lot of stuff that I can look back and talk about but I'm now realizing that as I talk about it I just keep the failed stuff active in my vibration and now it's occurring to me that a lot of what I lived over there has served me enormously well because in knowing what I don't want I know what I do want what's the worst thing you ever lived in a relationship someone who pretended to be who they weren't I had a relationship that really had no foundation or I thought it didn't so the new story is I thought I knew who this person was but I didn't know who this person was and I'm not even sure this person knew who this person was and uh, uh, there might have been some pretending going on uh, at a minimum there was a lot of lack of communication going on but the good news is and this is the reason that I'm telling this part of my story you say the good news is out of that came my keen awareness that I am so excited about hooking up with someone who's tuned in tapped in tuned in turned on who knows exactly who they are who's expanding like I am and who's in love with life and who knows that life is supposed to be fun and who reaches for vibrational resonance with who he really is so uh, thank you for that miserable excursion uh, <laughs> and for the benefit that it has given me because I am so clear about that yeah. what's the next what's the next worst thing um. Oh, and by the way, sorry you don't know who you are, but by you not knowing who you are, I now know what I'm looking for. So it was worth whatever you went through to give me this. <laughs> what else? Um, I was left alone with a child that was very small, but I've pretty much, I think I've gotten over that. Um, well, not really. <laughs> <laughs> um, you abandoned me at the time that I needed you most. But when I think about it, I didn't really like you that much anyway. <laughs> we weren't getting along all that well. And out of it came such strength and clarity from me. I had a wonderful on my child, and I do have a good relationship with him now. But it took a long time to get to that point. Who's telling this story? You or I? <laughs> Thank you. Because you keep taking it back over here. And, right. and we want to take it over here. Now, well, it's in fairness, we're doing some of both, but you get okay. the sense that, in other words, such benefit came from that. In other words, by your selfishly doing what you thought was best for you, instead of shining your spotlight of interest completely on me, you did what you thought was best for you. And in the long run, it turned out that it was what was best for me because from it, I found greater strength and clarity and independence. And I also put into my vibrational escrow someone who wants to be with me the relationship that I'm in the process of bringing to me that's brewing over there will be someone who wants to be with me as much as I want to be with him and I'm exhilarated about what's coming forward and I've got you to thank for that what what, what else happened <laughs> <laughs> you got I don't I 
I really don't want to go there right now. Because I think it really doesn't matter. Well, the reason that we're playing with you like this is because different things will happen. You'll smell something, you'll hear a song, you'll see a car, you'll, you'll see somebody. Different things will happen in your life that will cause you to go there. And when something causes you to go there, go there, take the hit of it, but then remember what rockets of desires that you launched and then turn your undivided attention to that and tell that story. So that then the story that you begin to tell, the story of relationship that you begin to tell goes like, I've lived so much and so much has come from what I've lived and I can feel that my vibrational escrow is brewing a very big way and I know that I am now nearly ready to allow that relationship to come to me and I think the reason that the relationship hasn't come to me because I know I've lived enough that I've really created something wonderful and I know that I'm often positive in my thought about it and this is the thing that's been baffling me I know I've been more positive than I have been negative so why isn't it coming and then I realize that the reason that it has not come the reason that I have not let it in is because I've lived so much that I so want this to be really good and I have this little little thing stuck in my vibrational craw that goes like but what if I get duped again what if I think this is the real one and it turns out not to be and then it ends up not being what I'm really wanting and now I'm beginning to understand that that cannot possibly happen to me because of all that I've lived I've created this wonderful vibrational escrow I've come too far I know too much that cannot happen to me again but that does explain why I have not been letting it come I haven't been letting it come because that's the drum that I beat the most often I don't want to fail again I don't want it to be bad again that's the story that you want to tell so the new story that you tell is it's not possible for it to happen like that with me again because now I know what's in my escrow and every day all day I put more stuff in it but I'm writing the list of what's in my escrow relative to this relationship and here it is and speak it often here it is someone who's in love with life someone who's exhilarated about the day as I am someone who wakes up every morning eager to have opportunities to expand still further someone who is aware of his emotional guidance system and who tends to his own vibrational gap someone who in our marriage vows we can look each other and say and really mean it I like you pretty good let's see how it goes in other yeah. words I, and then further marriage vows I am not going to hold you responsible for how I feel I promise you from this day forward that my happiness is an inside job I'm not going to ask you to change in any way to make me happy I'm happy it's my job to stay happy and these are the vows that we exchange change and as you tell that story it is our promise to you that your escrow is ripe enough that with that story you'll move right in there and uh, in very short time you'll know and when you meet this person you will not have this feeling of I'm wondering if you are the one you will have this knowing you are the one you will move forward so fast into this person's experience and this person will move so fast into your experience you will see no hesitation on the part of the other and you will fall no hesitation on the part of yourself because you are in his escrow as he is in yours and when you you're the only missing piece here when you get in there you'll hook up